This uh, event is very interesting from uh, the journalist's perspective. It is not the usual type of event and the usual type of audience we interact with. So there is a room full of scientists, data analysts, people with a background in computer science. And journalists usually move in conferences with other journalists and editors and media professionals. So it was really interesting to learn uh, from their perspective what is the role that journalism and the media uh, can uh, potentially have to bridge science and um, the audiences. Climate journalism is uh, n currently a complex uh, area of journalism, uh, very challenging for journalists to cover. Climate stories um, demand knowledge uh, in climate change science, they are data heavy, and they usually also require more time and in-depth reporting, which tends to be costly, a very difficult uh, way of uh, producing news for a 24-hour cycle. So these are some of the challenges in covering climate, yeah. There were some um, tough stories uh, to hear in the room about the experiences of sciences with journalists and the media. Some scientists um, complain that journalists uh, are not very accurate when they talk about science and about data that has to do with, uh, with climate change and environmental issues. Indeed, they, they think the stories uh, tend to step away from the rigorous reporting that science requires. On the other hand, uh, I think it is uh, difficult sometimes for journalists to cover uh, science, again, and climate, because these are stories that happen over time, in a very long period of time. Their evolution is uh, seen and lived in a long period of time. And the news and uh, reporting in general, journalism, tends to focus more on breaking news and uh, short format storytelling that makes it difficult more to um, insert the climate story with the attention and the slow pace and the in-depth uh, investigative uh, techniques that it deserves in the news cycle.